In life, there are some things beyond our control, which may leave us feeling out of control. Once again, we may be struck with the pain of unresolved issues. We may be left with negative feelings that continue to surface. What can we do to, to gain power in these situations? Jesus said, To you who are willing to listen, I say, love your enemies. Do good to those who hate you. Bless those that curse you. Love your enemies. Lend to them without expecting to be repaid. Then your reward from heaven will be very great, and you will be truly acting as children of the Most High. For he is kind to those who are unthankful and wicked. We no longer need to be controlled by other people's dispositions. Even when we've done our best, the situation may not have changed. Even when we've come to terms with the wrongs done against us, our feelings may not change. But we don't have to be held captive by our feelings or the feelings of others. We could use to act in loving ways. This will free us from being controlled from anyone other than God. As we choose to do good, the feelings will follow. Our growth is not cited by others, it's in the hands of God alone. When Jesus said to love our enemies, it might sound like he's advocating for codependence. But that's where you come back to the golden rule. Love your neighbor as you love yourself. We love our neighbor without neglecting to love ourselves. We have boundaries, that is limits and consequences on how people treat us. As I said before, customer service is a very practical form of everyday love. If a customer comes in and they're grumpy, you wouldn't return the same to them. You do your best to serve them. And at the same time, you'd have limits on how they treat you. If they're going overboard, you wouldn't serve them, etc. Loving your neighbor as you love yourself. When you're driving, the rules don't change, yet you're in motion with other drivers on the road. You have the left side and the right side of the road and the traffic around you. You can be off to the left too far and you make adjustments back to the right as you drive. You can be too far to the right or too close to the car in front of you. So you make judgment calls and adjustments as you go along. We could be over too far to the right in grace or too far to the left in truth and be critical in a given situation. As we learn people principles in life and where the left and the right side of the road is, we learn to make judgment calls and adjustments as we go along. We get the hang of things after a while. If we want to stop the vicious cycle of unhappiness, we must learn new ways of relating to each other.